Hey, I go by the name of Zdeni Poi KMG, and we are the conversation with Zdeni and Kamu. Now, listen, gentlemen, on a conversation today, we got the legendary Paul Mutirara. <laughs> good to see you, my brother. A pleasure, guys. Thank How you so much. You? Uh, all good, all good. Uh, everything's cool. No stress That's great, man. Thanks very much for coming to the conversation. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thanks for the time. invite. Great, man. I've missed you at the Bridge Boutique Lodge. You know? Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I was scheduled to play a little bit early because I had another oh. engagement as well. So it was a, it was in a, but it was a beautiful venue. Yeah, uh, I understand that the performances were out of this world. I just saw Donald perform and uh, yes. Donald and Press, mm. but you know they true performers, so they they did very well. Yeah, no, that's that's my hometown. Yeah. I'm from that side. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. Oh, place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were that side, so I was surprised that I'm like, hey, Paul is not here. <laughs> oh, okay, great. So uh, let's, you know. It, it's always difficult, you know, to have a conversation with someone that is well known. Someone that no, is in, in no, I'm, I'm not well known. You are. No, 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 no. I've been in radio for like twenty years. Y- yes, but you know, I, I'm. I don't do it for the fame. It's, yeah. It was never for the fame. I just, yeah. I just, just. Uh, it was by mistake. Mm. Radio was all. This whole journey was just by sheer mistake. Yeah, because yeah. it's always hard. Like you don't know if you must ask the person like. Uh, where you from? Like, oh, tell us okay. about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Because people probably they know that kind of information. I think they do. I think yeah. they do. They yeah. know quite a lot. And, and I want to ask your same name. Is this, is it Mutirar or Mutira? Mutira? No. So uh, we'll also say uh, the R A and R A becomes a Q. Oh. So some Tikha. Tikha. Yes, yes. But look, it's fine. That it's a different. It's a different part of the world. <laughs> it's people always get it wrong. So yeah. And I say my my surname has been remixed so many times. I'm I'm fine. You're fine with yeah. it. So you have twenty years, more than twenty years in the, in the radio in radio. I'm worried about that. If you say I've got 20 years in radio, then I think I've stayed too long. <laughs> <laughs> I think 20 years doing something. Uh, no, no, I, well, I, I'm not so sure. I, mm. I'm, I'm not so sure. I think maybe, maybe, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't really checked. I don't, I, I don't really check. But it's know. been a while. No? It's been a while. Let's mm. say it's been longer than a day. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but tell us a bit on how you ended up in, in, in radio and how you fall in love, especially with uh, soul and R&B. Uh, okay, so uh, my journey, my journey was weird. Um, I, I stayed in Switzerland, um, mm-hmm. and um, there was a gentleman that 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 that, uh, that saw me talk English, and uh, he, he kind of asked me, "Would you like to be in radio?" And I'm like, "What is radio?" You know, like my my mind wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And then he introduced me to community radio, and then I came back to South Africa and uh, yeah. True FM, which is was Sky Radio True back FM. in then. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, um, I, I knew the, the the station manager, and he said, "Look, Paul, why don't you come join?" Uh, so I went there. It was it was really I was just bored, yeah. and then then from there it was Metro after Metro, uh, seven o two. So it's just been, yeah. it's just been. I think I think God was just being nice to me. Ah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So isn't something that you like you've learned from school? Didn't you? No, you no, no, no. I, I don't. Radio no, like I, that? I don't think you learn radio. I think radio mm-hmm. is is either you have the the appetite for it. And then you, you learn from there. And I think what has happened with the radio over time, it's, it's, it's no more... Whoever says you have to learn for radio, I, don't, I think they're not telling you the truth. Mm. Radio is, is a passion. You know, if you have a passion for something, then it's cool. Really? Mm. Because if you come to a radio station, they're going to have to listen to your voice, they're going to listen to your, to, your, to, your, um, uh, to your delivery, and then, you know, they'll, they will train you according to what, what the station wants. Mm. Uh, these, these schools that are popping up say that you must, you must have this diploma and that, and that diploma in radio. I, I really haven't seen most of these organizations asking you for diplomas yeah. in radio. And I think they more ask you, want to hear your voice, your projection, how you talk, your, your, train, your train of mind, and no one can teach you that. Though. Yeah, no one can teach you. So from, from True FM to now at 702, how has that journey been so far? Uh, True FM was nice. Uh, True FM was, uh, was, was, was the nicest time of radio because we didn't have any any commercial responsibilities, you know. Mm. Uh, Metro became a little bit different because we had to grow an audience, increase listenership, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it was a bit different. At seven o two, it it's really um, it's 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 a nice big, it's a nice station to be with because it's a it's an independent radio station. Yes, and uh, you have to. You have to perform, you know. It's a, it's a, it's an independent. Mm-hmm. So, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, yeah. so I, I I just think every radio station has got its different perks and and different roles and responsibilities. And I think the higher you go, just it just gets a little bit more tougher. Mm-hmm. But you have to deliver a bit more. So when you started radio, were you playing soul and R&B? No, no, no. Soul and R&B, I bumped into it in, at Metro by mistake. Um, <laughs> they just said, Paul, look here. Everything looks like a mistake. Yes. Yeah. 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 Everything is a mistake in this career. <laughs> Everything, yeah, no. Look, I, I just think God, 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 
paved the way. That's basically mm-hmm. it. No, no, no. R and B was uh, was was something that, that, that got taught at Metro. I never even knew who Eddie was. I never knew who Wilson was. And okay. then they just threw me in the middle and they said, "You're going to be between these two guys." Mm. And I don't know. And then I, I you know, you you had to learn how to swim. Mm. And um, and, that, and by that, by, just as I was getting to that, I was just starting my MBA. Yeah. So I took all what I learned from my MBA and I put it into radio. And then I started to realize that there's there's a science to radio. You know, okay. yeah. So I, I so I looked at what Wilson was playing. I looked at who what target market he was talking to. Mm. I, I listened to what Zondi was playing. I, I listened to what target market, and then I decided decided from that from the just using business tools as to which target market I wanted to target. Mm. And uh, yeah. That's so when you're, in your, when you're in your in your car. No, I I don't listen to radio. I I can't listen to radio. I listen. I listen to. <laughs> so what do you play? What do no, you play? I don't even. Play. I just switch off the radio. You know, it's like imagine working at a at a, at a chicken place, mm. and you, you, you every day they serve you chicken. You, you won't be eating chicken, mm. you know. So yeah. I just don't listen. But you to have radio. different radio stations, man. And I think that's one of my questions that I was that I wanted to ask at a later stage as to what other radio station or what other program on radio do you listen to? Uh, I, I I think I like talk right now because where we are currently yeah. in South Africa. So I listen to. 702 quite a uh, lot that's my favorite station uh, during the week <laughs> yes, it's I really promise, yeah. Yeah, I listen to you know, I listen to Bungani Bingo <laughs> I listen to, no I'm serious I listen to Bungani Bingo Clement Manyatela Azania mm-hmm. and to, uh, who's that um, the, 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 the John Pullman John yes, yes John yes, Pullman yes, yes, yes. I like I like, I like no, seven. Uh, you just no, need, no, it's, it's preset on seven. <laughs> <laughs> At number one, no, I lose. Yes, number one. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, 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 I just, I just stay away from music radio during the week. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I, so you just so when come, come Sunday, then your brain or oh, Saturday, your brain starts kicking as to what you're going to do on Sunday. Tell me, how do you prepare for a show? Uh, you, yes, yes, you, you just do a lot of preparation, you know. You, you mm-hmm. go online, you go offline, you talk to people, you just, you know, you, yeah. you know, work around stuff. But you know, we we just created a different different strategy of radio, mm-hmm. unlike other radio stations, and and that's working for us. Mm-hmm. I think what's happening with radio is that every every radio station is is is, is, is it's designed. It's competing. It's, it's doing the same thing, mm-hmm. and I think mm-hmm. somewhere, some radio, you have to break. Break, break it a bit and we've kind of broken it a bit and found our, our different formula and that's why Sofa Sunday is doing quite well Wait. so was there a time where you don't prepare for radio and you just let the experience take over no 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 you, <laughs> you're always preparing you, when you walk to the toilet you're preparing when you're driving to work you're preparing when you, yeah. when you sit on your phone you're preparing every, every day is a preparation Wait. Yeah, no, every day. Nice. now I saw one of the, 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 the I think it was a tweet that you wrote mm. and it was 2016 where you say feeling a bit nervous I think that's when you got the job here at 702 mm. yes yes uh, it's been a while since I'm behind the mic mm. do you get nervous sometimes when you're going on radio yes you do yes you do I, 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 they, my old program manager told me that if you don't get nervous uh, about something then it's time for you to leave <laughs> you know really? yeah because um, nervousness means you're passionate about something and if you're nervous about something that means you're going to give it your all mm. uh, if you're not if you're not nervous mm. about something you're just going to come to the studio what the heck I don't have to do this this is just a payment at the end of the day and it doesn't work that way you okay. really have to be passionate about this job because competition is just around the corner everybody's competing for for Sunday radio yes. and you have to be at your peak that's, that's one quote I'm gonna leave with <laughs> for the rest of my life. If you're not nervous, no, if you're not, then it means you're not passionate uh, about you, it. It's time for you. Are you, to are you always nervous when you come to do the conversation? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like today, I, I was nervous. I woke up very early. <laughs> so, so tell me, uh, uh, um, looking at back from where you came from, like True True FM until now at seven o two, what has changed in radio? Um, audiences think? have changed. Okay. Mm-hmm. Audience, uh, you know, um, back then, if you played a hip hop song, mm-hmm. you, you generally think that hip hop songs for black audiences. It's completely, okay. and uh, that hip hop song now is 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 multiracial, multicultural, mm-hmm. and it can even be worse because the kids of today don't see color; they yeah, just see hip hop yeah. artists and music. So the next couple of years is going to be very different how radio stations. Um, how radio stations program themselves. Mm. If you if you tune into an R&B, if the station says they're an R&B radio station, uh, and you want, you're going to get to find a white audience saying, "Hey, I like that song," and you're yeah. like, "Okay, how do I talk to a white audience? I got a black audience." So there's going to be that that crossover in terms of um, multicultural radio stations. Mm. So it's going to be very difficult to say, "I talk to a black audience," or "I talk to a white audience." It's going to be talk. I'm talking to a multiracial audience. So I think that's what's going to happen now. Yeah. And look at MTV. Look at look at all the music channels. It's multiracial. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you think do you think uh, uh, social media? You know your 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 YouTube your all those Facebook and Instagram and, 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 and 
Instagram? Do you think they are taking over from radio or they are killing radio? No, no. I think, I think, I think all of what's happening right now it, it integrates with radio. It supports radio. Mm. Uh, people still going to listen to radio in the car. I don't think you could you can watch a YouTube and and radio at the same time while you're driving. I always so, do that. I <laughs> listen to the podcast while I'm driving. You know? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. no well, you you the one of the lucky few. But I just think if I think everybody, all of these mediums can play an, a nice role to mm. support each other. I, mm. I think if if you if you look at the mindset that this is going to destroy my business, then you then you then you're not thinking business. Mm. I think if you say Facebook can help me to a certain degree. Um, I can still broadcast an audio or video file on Facebook. I can go to Twitter. I can do the. I can still broadcast. So you can use all these mediums to grow your station. Yeah. It's just new platforms of how people reach you. Yeah, but sure. you know, I saw some somewhere it was on Twitter, mm-hmm. and they said the cell phones now, like cell phones now, won't be coming with the radio anymore. You have to download the app. No, no. I think everything's going to be downloaded with apps. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a business. It's a business decision. Mm-hmm. Um, I think um, that's how organizations make money, and that's how companies are going to start uh, knowing how big their audience is. Mm-hmm. And remember, it's it's it, that's radio stations' intellectual property. So it's it's very difficult for Samsung to go and put my radio station on their platform without asking me. Mm-hmm. About, so I think everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, to protect my brand, to 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 see how you use my brand to to grow. So to grow, it's yes. all business. All yeah, line of yeah, business, yeah. yeah. Do you think the introduction of ninety percent local uh, content has actually affected your your slot? I mean, talking about soul and R and B. No, I don't think so. I, I look how look how beautiful local so Afro soul grew. Mm. Um, and that it grew, and I remember Afro soul when you complement it with with R and B and soul, it works. It works. It's mm. a it's a it, it, it complements itself beautiful. Mm. I think before people say, oh, it's going to kill the R and B industry. No, I can play a Press and a Luther Vandross together, and you'll still enjoy th- that time. Mm. I can play uh, Mlundo with uh, with uh, Music Soul Child. It still blends, you know. Mm. So I don't think I don't think it has. I just think it's complemented each other quite well. Yeah. Um, mm. So and and the nice thing right now, you get to see the guys are becoming very creative with their music. So mm. I'm very happy. Now, Paul, let's talk about uh, Metro FM. Mm. Uh, there was an article Paul Mutirara fired from Metro FM. Mm-hmm. What went down there? No, no. Um, I was doing the Castle Milk Start mm-hmm. uh, feature, and I did it for five years. And what happened is that Castle Milk Start started to pay me to run the feature because it was my feature, you know. Mm-hmm. And the SBC felt that um, it was there on their platform, but the S- uh, Castle Milk Start was paying me. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what that's where the dispute came about. Mm. There the, the was there was a, also I think the issue of unfair dismissal from yes the yes yeah so yes. is it resolved that issue? Yes, it resolved. We went to court and uh, their their part and our party just came to a conclusion that no one's going to win. Yeah, <laughs> and we just walked away. So, but yeah. I, I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the whole process. Um, had not that happened, I would not be at a great radio station like Seven O Two. So mm. once again, I, I I I'm thankful. I'm thankful for Metro FM. I'm thankful. I'm Thankful that they fired me, and I'm thankful <laughs> that I moved on. Um, yeah. And um, and now we've, we've we started a brand new beautiful brand uh-huh. at 702. It's it's generating so great return. Sunday. Yeah, it's great great return. So um, I just think that we should stop looking at things as a negative. Mm. We should start looking at things in a different light. That maybe um, the biggest blessing comes out of a of, out of a bad situation. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. So if Metro FM comes out with a good check now and say come no, back. No, I'm okay. I think um, we won't, we won't no, not, not, not to say that they're a bad radio station. No, mm. they're a beautiful radio station, beautiful brand. I've always loved the SCBC mm. and I'll always give praise to the SCBC for, 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 for starting my career. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I just think that time of the journey has come to an mm. end and I'd mm. just like to pursue something else. And you had yeah. to grow. Yes, I think there's also elements of growth. So yes. I really, wonderful guys, wonderful radio station, all the best to them. Um, I just think our path has come to that natural end. No, yeah, that's dope. Mm. And now here at 702, are you, are you, who are you with? I think Kenny. Yes, Kenny Ray Street, uh, yeah. Non Borta, uh, Richard on, on, on Saturday. So you've got a, you've got a phenomenal team. Like yeah. really Is phenomenal. it for soul and R&B? No, no. Uh, just for soul R&B, it's, it's Kenny, myself and Non on Sundays. Okay. Uh, that's just the one day that they've dedicated to soul and R&B mm-hmm. uh, because, of the, because of the market. So once again, your, your business um, ethics or your business understanding comes into mind when you play soul and R&B. You can't play it on right. a Saturday or Friday. It's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know what? St- still talking about Metro FM, someone posted and said, Wilson Binko's Paul Muterara and Bra Elizondi. Those were the days. I would listen to Metro FM from uh, nine nine a.m. to six p.m. Someone also added and says Sintelo Hoko, okay. the legends of uh, Soul Balance. Mm-hmm. 
Talk to us about the death of uh, Bra Edizonte. How did it affect you as an individual uh, and as a colleague? Uh, Eddie and I were very close. Yeah. Uh, we were really close. I mean, we worked together for 12 years. Um, so, uh, it, 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 Eddie's death was just not, it was not more than, it was more than just a colleague. It was a, a brother, you know, yeah. to someone very, very close to me, you know. And, um, um, so, I, I celebrate his death, or not celebrate, man, I mourn his death in a different way. I don't have to do a radio feature for Eddie mm. uh, and, 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 and do grandstanding. Um, Eddie, Eddie's loss is, is, is personal, it's, it's, it's emotional for me. Mm. It's not a radio feature for me at all. Mm. So I think that's the difference. Some people might say, well, you don't get to talk about Zondi on your show. I, the, the hurt is here. I, I get yeah. to wake up every day and get to miss Zondi. Other radio stations get to play Zondi songs on Zondi's birthday. You know, I, mm. Maybe they deal with hurt in a different way, but I deal with it every yeah. single day. Mm. And I'm not going to come to another radio station and, and use Zondi's name to gain listenership. And you're not respecting him then. You know, right. I'd rather respect him in silence and, and in, a, in a dignified fashion. And that's what I've, I've done right now. Right. You, you guys were the big machine, and I remember I was still young back in the days where it was you, Eddie Zondi, Wilson Binko. No, no. We, we had a I great was still team. young at that time. <laughs> I wasn't listening to really. No, right. I used to listen <laughs> to Metro <laughs> FM, and then this I had a Metro FM is like one big box. You know, no, no. Station, um, yeah. no, but um, but you see, that's what's nice. Uh, the, how the how the big bosses positioned Metro FM at that given time mm -hmm. was a business strategy. Um, I think right now um, other radio stations can do exactly that and I'm sure Metro FM yeah. is starting to feel that there's comp competition on the side but guys uh, um, time time develops your mm. competition so I think it's a it's a nice playing ground right now and um, and uh, my motto is that I can I, I want to grow even if mm. it's not with the SCBC I want to grow with an independent and hence that's what we're doing at 702 so I'm very happy ah, that's great yeah. so you have a collection of 100 songs in reflection of your radio career called the Soul for yes. <laughs> Sunday yes the, 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 we, yeah. is it something like so nah. this romantic ballad no 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 no, no. <laughs> I, I think th my, these are just great songs over time mm. these are timeless classics Mm. Uh, Zondi Zondi's was um, songs that you have to have in your CD that you might not have had had back then because mm. because of, because social media and iTunes and all that type wasn't as developed as today. Mm. Mm. So these are just songs that I've just collected over time, which I think they're classics. Mm -hmm. um, whereas with Zondi Zondi uh, fed a particular part of the market that didn't have access to a hundred CD, so he just yes. compressed it and put it into a CD compilation. So it's just two different things. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, now, when we started the interview, you said uh, you did not do a radio for fame. Was there a time where you get away with things because you pull them through that? No, no, I don't want that, eh? No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 many times it's happened, they're like, no, yeah, hey, Paul, hey, you don't can... worry. No, I'm like, no, thank you, guys. No, no, no. If, if, you, if the, the problem is that fame, fame, fame is a very fickle thing. If you, mm -hmm. if you become, that, that one moment can, can, can make you become, um, po, po, uh, po, what can I say? Uh, it, it, can, it can swallow you for a very long time. So mm. try and stay away from that one small thing because chances are you'll go back to that small thing because it's easy to get. Mm. You know what I'm trying to mm. I, I don't want that. But, but, but obviously fame will always come through to you. I mean, if you're on radio, if you're on, your, in, on TV, it will always come to you. Yeah, no, it will, it will. But it, it's how you, it's how, it's how you, what you use it for. It's also mm. how you respond to yes, it, I guess. Yes, yeah. if, you, if, if, if someone says, hi, Paul, um, uh, can you help me with something? No, it's fine. I, I'll, I'll do what I can do. But if, mm. Paul, if, if, hi, if I get, traffic officer pulls me and says, ah, no, Paul, please play me the song. No, then that, uh, no, that's, yeah, that's yeah, not right. Yeah. That's not right that way. Yeah. You, can't, you must either have a, a moral line in the sand or mm. don't have one. Exactly. So, so, like, let's talk music. You mm. describe your soul as any music that touches a nerve and has a deep emotion response. Mm. Why, why, why that? Look, uh, you, uh, you, you, you know, that's what I say to Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross has written a song for every moment in life. Mm. Uh, heartbreak, um, a, a good day, a bad day. Uh, you know, he's got a song for every, and all artists have got a song for that. And mm. most artists that I've spoken to, like Anthony Hamilton, they always say that I, I write a song as a reflection to my life or moment. So, you know, there might be a lyric of a song that appeals to you at a particular time. Mm. Yeah. Th that's what it is. Music is all about emotions. It's about you know, that, that particular moment in time. Mm. And it might not have to be solo R&B. It can be quiet, it can be house, it can be, it can be hip hop, it can be anything. Music is just music. You know? Do you think it's still the same, like comparing the music of now, like the one that is written now is compared to the 70s and 80s, especially R&B? I think what, you know, so, so what will happen with music? You'll get to see that music has, music rotates. You have great years of good music, you have bad years of bad music. 
mm-hmm. but then it rotates back again and, and good music starts to come out so what you're going to see right now is a rotation of good music coming back lyrics before it was just like ah and that they write two mm-hmm. lyrics and they and they repeat it ten yeah, times yeah. nice no, can you see it's changing melodies are starting to come back i'll give you a perfect example look at justin bieber Mm. And the new yeah, Peaches yeah, song, yeah. it's a very, it's a very soulful it's very song. Cage, yeah. yeah, so you can just get to see that they start, and his audience is also starting to grow up and saying, but we don't want to hear flashy cars, we want to hear meaningful lyrics. So mm. your audience will also dictate what you, what you write. Mm. Oh, okay, great. Uh, uh, tell me, I was looking at your Instagram uh, feed. Are you a foodie? Yes, yes, I, I like food. Hey, I'm, a, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of curry. I don't know why. I just love curry. Hey, um, and I think Kenny, Kenny, um, uh, Kenny's of of Indian origins, right? Mm-hmm. And he's been teaching me the different curries. And we, you know, we've got different curries. You've got yeah. curry from Durban, which is a redder. It's a, it's a, it's a red, red in color, and mm-hmm. it must have oil on the side. And if you go to Cape Town, Cape Town, their Cape Town is more sweet because their their origins from Cape Town is from uh, Malaysia, mm-hmm. and Malaysia uses coconut. And the, the the Indian population of from Durban uses um, more um, um, so how can I say a little bit stronger stronger uh, taste mm-hmm. because they are from a certain part of India because of the slave mm-hmm. trade. So I've been I've been learning about food and how food changes in South yeah. Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Do you cook? Uh, I I try to cook, but I I just got such a busy schedule that I, I really don't have much time. You I just mean, eat. Yes, which is bad. <laughs> which is bad. You know? But I, I I always believe that I want, my taste buds are like music. Mm-hmm. I always want to experience new stuff. So yeah. I never eat the same thing. Three Three, four, five times. I always mm-hmm. change, go, and I like to go to odd places where you can get something that I've never eaten before. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice that your slot is during the time where people will be cooking. <laughs> but no, it's horrible for me because <laughs> they start sending me food. Look what I had for lunch. I'm like, yeah. no, I'm hungry. I want to have some. You know. So yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Now uh, the other status or uh, other post that you post, you said in 2023 I'm buying a soccer. Tea. Yes, yes, yes. Starting my pre-own negotiation this year. Yeah, I know. I've been talking to a soccer team. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where they. Which one is it? Kisa Chiefs. No, no, no. I got, don't have the type of money for that. Maybe you'll bring light to you. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm talking to a very small soccer team. Um, okay. But I, I'm looking from a business point of view. Mm. Uh, I, I just, I, just, I, I looked up on a, on, 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 on um, a recovery plan for, a, for, a, for a business, mm. and I realized if I use the same tech. Techniques or tactics, mm. and with social media and with the soccer team stuff like that, I could potentially not make them win a league, but I could actually uh, become make them more profitable just from a marketing point of view. Oh, so, yeah. I, so I'm talking to them already, and mm. the, the owner is like, "Let's talk in 2023 when, when, when you know when I know what the di- direction of it." So I'm hoping it goes goes well. Oh, okay. I is made it, my intention. Now. Is it a soccer team in a PSL or? I uh, know I can't say that. Then you should really try and very hard to take down the the whole information. No, 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 no. But are you a soccer fan? Which no, I'm not, not. I don't understand sport. I just really? I don't get that at I'm, all. I don't get it. I just don't understand how someone can kick a ball from right, right to left, left to front for ninety minutes. I just don't get it. <laughs> I, I fail to understand. And to watch a racing car go around the track all the time. Uh, cricket. No, I can't. The Bowling Rugby. out, no, I just never understand. Beside music, what is it that you like? Business. I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a, I, I like. I go online and I just, I just research a lot. I look at companies. Yeah. I look at why this company is doing this. I'm, I'm why. So I go. So if, let's say if a company, a company went up by two percent last week, mm-hmm. I want to know why. Why, why yeah. did it go two percent? And then I go dig deeper and I start looking at the company and then I, then I start to find like. Get, mm. And then I start. I like to start looking at, at, at businesses that are that are fa- start researching why, them, they failed, you know, why yeah. they failed and all that type of. Because mm. remember, I got an MBA, so yes. they mm. teach us these techniques of of of, of uh, how can I say, of looking at a balance sheet and looking at a story and trying to put the two together. Right. So right. I, I, it fascinates me. What inspired you to do MBA? I, 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 everybody in my family is educated. I'm not. So, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's. I, an MBA. <laughs> no, no, but everybody's a doctor. Everybody's this. Everybody's got this major major. Um, Degrees, yeah. and then I come back and I'm a DJ. I'm like, look at this. So I figured, let me go for MBA. I'm halfway between <laughs> beating them, and I'm halfway between yeah. at least having some recognition. I, I get that an MBA, then they moved up to doctorate level. So I've still lost. I lost again. 
just teach people. I just and I just tell them to stop studying. It's unfair. <laughs> so are you going? Are you going to get your PhD anytime soon? No, no. I just told them it's undemocratic. <laughs> they must stop studying. I'm tired of them studying. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, so basically, you're the right guy. I mean, like a lot of people now they're talking in investing in companies, buying stock and everything. So you're the perfect guy to come if you say, no, no, which no, company I must no, buy. <laughs> not yet. Hey, oh. I don't think anybody can tell you that right now. Mm-hmm. I think the world is changing. With COVID, we don't even know what's right, left, center, yeah, up and yeah. down. Mm. I think over. I think in the next year, two years, we'll start to realize as to what is. What's what, what is the next big thing? Because mm. who knows? Maybe Facebook might not be around, or maybe there'll be a, a new adaption of Facebook, or maybe Twitter might evolve into something else. We don't know. Mm. But I think Tesla is here to stay. I, no, no, but <laughs> but you see, but Tesla is a, is a model that everybody's going to duplicate. Mm. I mean, every every, every VW is coming out with a with an electronic vehicle, oh, yes, yes. Mercedes. So it's Tesla. Yes, they came to the market. Their share price is this, this high. Yes, it's good. But then Mercedes Benz is doing it. Toyota is doing it. VW is doing it. Every other company is doing it. So, are they really going to have that dominance over oh, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, That's uh, a good question. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm I, worried. And, and look at Mercedes Benz. They just launched a brand new uh, EQS in, in the week, which is which is equivalent to a, a Tesla. It's really equivalent. Uh, so, mm-hmm. yeah. So I, I'm not I'm not saying that the share prices might go down, but maybe if Tesla moves into to trucking, to big trucks. Which they are thinking of doing, that will be another head of a market share. But then your comp- competitors are just catching up very quickly. Mm. So yeah, we'll see. When, when are you holding? When are you holding classes for business? No, no. I, I think then and I are more interested right now. <laughs> we need to come back guys, so that we can discuss the shares. How guys, to buy? I'm far from that. Hey, uh, <laughs> you. There's so many bright people out there who understand business far better than me. I think I'm a. I'm a I'm at primary school level, not in primary school, pre- nursery school right now, yeah. compared to some people out there. I'm just saying there's, there's a lot of smarter people out there. Just you have to be mindful of it. Paul, I want to ask you this. I, did, was there a time where you, you, you suffered with uh, like lack of confidence? No, it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it happens. It happens all the time. You, you maybe maybe you put in a, a lot of effort in something, yeah. and it had a one hundred percent opposite opposite effect. Do 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 sometimes compare yourself with people? No, no. I compare. I I I, I, I try not to, mm-hmm. and I'll tell you why because. Their situation, my situation is different. Mm. Uh, what they're going through and I'm going through is different. What what they uh, what they determine as a goal might be different to my goal. Right, yeah. you know? So what I do is that I always put my my goals and aspirations high up in the sky. Mm. You know, mm. so I know I'm going to fail all the time, but that makes that makes me work harder and harder and harder to get to the next level. Right. So just just be. Be your own. Put your goals up high. Put them massively high. Mm. So and then and another thing, we must stop looking at as failure as failure. Failure is not failure. Mm. Failure is a learning situation. Mm. It's not failure. If you have not achieved something, that doesn't mean you're failure. That just means you might have gone to the wrong way, mm-hmm. and there's a different way to come. So when you fall, it's not because you fail, just because you're learning. Mm. It's, it's a learning process. And the reason why I'm asking that question is because I mean, like even now when you talk about um, when I'm asking about. I do in some class. You said, um, I mean, you are still far as compared to other people. No, no, really and not. I saw one of your status where you said, uh, you doing? I think you were doing collections of sneakers. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. you said, I'm far as compared to other people. Yes, yes. No, <laughs> no. So hence I'm asking <laughs> if there's a time where you're in no, a battle with... No, you know, I, I just... Because that's what a lot of... You know, like, I think the reason why I'm asking is because I mean, from my side, I share the same sentiment. Mm. I'm one person that... I always say, nah, but there's better people that are doing this. Mm. There's better people that, there's people that are doing better than me. There's mm. people that are, have things that are better than mm. what I have. You mm. know, I always put myself in that kind of way. No, but I think what mm. you're doing is that you, 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 you're motivating yourself to get to that level. Mm. Uh, because if, if, you, if you had no motivation, like, no, I'm fine where I am. Yeah, and you're like, no, I'm I'm okay where I am. But the mere fact you say there's better people, you want to strive to them. That yeah. means motivation. You want to get to the next level. That, that's that, that's great. Any financial advice? Financial advice. for people that are are, are, are are in this industry, like radio. I think radio, you always have to have a backup plan. 
Mm. Um, this industry is 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 an industry that you, you can be the hottest thing for the next ten years, and then they change the format, or they, they you, you got no job after that. So you always have to have a backup plan. Right. You right. all with radio, you have to. And for those people that have managed to stay in radio for a very long time, you have to count yourself as lucky. You know what? Mm. I mean, tomorrow if, if a radio, radio station says we don't want to target this particular audience, we want to go to another audience, you obsolete. <laughs> Mm. And then the next radio station is, but why must I take you when I can groom new talent? So I think all oh, is just have a backup plan. Mm. And, and, and don't think I want to be a DJ for the rest of it. Because if you, if you want to be a DJ for the rest of life, then you should not be in the industry because your, your mindset is like this. Your mindset should be open. Your mindset should be, can I own my own radio station tomorrow? Uh, or can I, can, I, can I take what I've got here and, and build something? You should always look at, a, at, at something bigger. Mm-hmm. And if you want to stay, no, then really do it. Let me put you, let me put you on the spot, uh, Paul. Give me uh, top five solo and R&B DJs at the moment. I, 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 I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't... Um, the thing is no particular. No, 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 I'll tell yeah. you why. Um, I, you have to give me a category of how I'm going to create them. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to say versatility one. Second of all, um, um, strength on air. Yeah. Third of all, how they interact with it's an audience. Yeah. Uh, f- fourth of all, um, what is their commercial commercial power with with advertisers? So it's it's very. So you can't, I can't you can't just say who's the top. And I need to sit down and you have to give me. A clear definition. Paul, this, this person, when he's on air, he brings X amount of listeners. And X amount of listeners brings X amount of money from an advertiser. Use those categories that you just spoke in about. No, but then I have to... But then I have to... But then I, okay, your favorite top five. I, I, have, I still have to do a SWOT analysis. Ah, Paul, this no. is not a business assignment. I'll, 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 I'll give you, okay, look, I think the only person that I really, really look up is still Zonda, and I'll tell you why. Mm. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie understood his audience. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a, he had his, 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 was, his audience was 60, 40, mm-hmm. 60 female, 40 men. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that 40 audience that, that, that he, he knew how to talk to a, to a lady audience, to a, to a female audience. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he turned that into high listenership on Metro FM. from high listenership. Then he went to CD compilation and he sold his CD compilation. Yes. You see, so he understood his markets. He capitalized on the understanding of his market, mm-hmm. and then he created a, a third offspring, which was his, his compilations. And then from there, Ed and I created the Sunday Soul Sessions, and then he created an a, 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 um, um, alternative revenue source. Yeah, you see, so now, so when you look at it from a business point of view, he's ticked all, 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 all four categories. Mm-hmm. So that's how I look at a DJ. Who, who, who do you think is navigating to that? I haven't seen anything as yet. I have, for, for another thing with Eddie, Eddie had principles. Mm-hmm. Um, it was work. With, it was work. It was work, 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 work. We 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 didn't play. I mean, yeah. we, we kept on working day in day out. We we mm-hmm. we had a, a, a honest. We had a very systematic. You know, if 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 we if a, if an owner paid us two rand, Eddie would say, Paul, yes, you one rand. Eddie, yes, you one rand. It was the working relationship. Mm-hmm. So I haven't seen those dynamics in in, in other people. You know, mm-hmm. um, and I've worked with Eddie for four for for twelve years, and there was never a disappointment. We were like a well-oiled machine. Mm-hmm. So I haven't seen anything of that caliber as yet. Mm-hmm. So our top five won't come out. No, no, I sorry, I, I I really don't. Have, if they say who's who's the number one radio station on Sunday, it can only be seven oh two Soulful Sunday, and Twitter has been telling us for over over a year. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw you know. Yeah, you know so I that. think if you have to come say, mm-hmm. if you have to def- define and say who is who's, who's the top social media radio station you will have to say of course 702 and then if you have to say which radio station brings x amount of female then i have to sit down and dissect it properly and then get into stats <laughs> remember you what, what i think what, what's happening with south africans right now we always talk before we think yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we, yeah. I mean, we don't have yeah. no scientific background and people say no this 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 color the, the white cars are more popular than red cars how do you know? Because mm. I drove past five white cars in the traffic this morning in, in, on the way to Midrand. But we don't know if that's the truth. You know, yeah. I need to go <laughs> back and back and say, oh, maybe that's the five cars from one company. Uh, maybe see. Avis bought those cars that day and you saw five. So uh, your, your, your reference to a situation has to be, has to be dealt with, 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 with proper accuracy. You see what MBA is doing to no. you. <laughs> I wanted to say that. Yeah. You're already putting everything into your business. Exactly. Point. You're showing every, like every other the business point. I'll give you a perfect example. <laughs> I went to a restaurant yesterday and I sat back and I counted every single rand that they made from the door until I ate, until I left. 
I, 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 when I walked in, I looked at the electricity. I, ch I charged that to my bill. I looked at the table that I was sitting at. I looked at the tablecloth, the, the knives and the forks, the plate, the person that was serving me, the potatoes, the meat. I calculated all of that. Uh, I calculated the water, the drink. I, I calculated how many times he has to I sit at the table for him to make mm -hmm. profit, for this meal to be profit. So that's what I'm saying. We have to start now looking at the world very differently, mm -hmm. and that's how that's how multi million multi million mayors or big companies mm -hmm. look at Facebook. Facebook realized we needed a mechanism of how to talk to the next person. Yes. See. So, um, what's your financial advice then? Same question as Denny asked, but to business uh, owners out there, especially small business guys, owners, due I, to the fact that we're in a pandemic now. Guys, I, I just think that um, everything that might look good might look good but might not look good on paper mm -hmm. you know it yeah. I, I believe me I've had so many people come to me with deals and the guy will show me Paul I'm making 300,000 rand a month and you see this 300,000 rand in his bank statement every month but then you sit back and like wow you see, if you're making 300,000 rand why do you want me to become a partner and I, I sit back and ask him. and then I said no please give me your all, all, all their financial statements and I sit down there for hours and I go through this cost only to get to find out that he wasn't making the, th the 300,000 he was he's, he was making about maybe 15% uh, return on, on the 300,000 you know, was mm. what he was keeping the rest was just it was bills and when I looked at the bills properly I just started to realize you overspending on things which are not necessary you know true, and true. what's happening now on social media is that we are so we are, we are, 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 everybody is so fixated on on Louis Vuitton and Mercedes Benz and li nice living and this and that imagine if you if you didn't have to be under pressure imagine if you took that Louis Vuitton jersey which is 60,000 rand and you put that 60,000 rand away and you bought yourself an apartment out or you went to Shoshanguvi or and Soweto and you bought land for 60,000 rand and you put you put up four apartments mm. that four that 60,000 rand has not brought back you know what a, a, a return every single month so mm. I'm just saying that I just wish that schools now could start teaching kids from 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 young money management because if you can tell me about biology how to make a baby <laughs> Why don't you teach me how to live with one rent and two rent? Yeah. You know, teach me how to. You should also just add tax there as well. Yeah, yes, no, yes, you know, tax. Mm -hmm. tax. That's also yeah. one of the things that we're struggling with. For a small business, go to go to um, go to organizations that do free uh, free mentorship. Mm -hmm. and, and sit back and, and mentor yourself really? you know that? and stop going on Instagram and seeing this company has got shop number 25 shop number th you, you mm -hmm. don't know the real the real the real story behind the story mm -hmm. interrogate it and, and Instagram is a lie stop living your life on Instagram and Twitter and believing it's a complete lie you know that? Mm -hmm. and live against it live for you don't live for the next person Right. Mm. Ah, that's great. So Ladies and gentlemen, this is the conversation with Zdeni and Kamo, and we're out here chilling with uh, the legendary Paul Mudirar. Paul, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome, guys. We really appreciate you. We love your show. I have this other cousin of mine, Lavogang. <laughs> She's always out here listening to you on <laughs> Sunday, you know. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, thanks they're always around 7 or 2, then I know, ah, that's Paul. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, thank but you. But no, guys. thanks very much. We really appreciate your time, man. Welcome, uh, we welcome. wish you nothing but the best in everything that you do. And everything that you stand for. No, no, I wish I wish you the best of all with, with your channel. I think it's a nice idea. I think mm -hmm. we are on the right track because everything is going audio and visual. Mm -hmm. And I think what you should do is that start looking at what the next uh, possibility is going to be, mm -hmm. and stop reading local newspapers. Go online and stop going, when you when you have an opportunity of Google. Stop going to go and see what. what go to Google and and put, start in Google. Put in Google what is the next best thing, mm -hmm. and start reading trends. Yeah. And you'll get to find out that maybe you could use this platform. Maybe there's something in the States that guy is busy t playing with in his mind. And you can use it in South Africa and you can be the next boom and you can monetize it. So I'm just saying, start, start, start educating yourself. You've got Google. For the mm -hmm. first time in life, we've got Google and it's all the information on Google. Mm -hmm. so for people, yesterday, I went to YouTube mm -hmm. and my, 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 iP my iPad was running slow. And I could have taken it to the Apple store and paid a thousand rand for them to make my Apple faster. Right? Mm. So this friend of mine said, Paul, st stop going to Apple, go into YouTube and go and learn. So I go into YouTube, I said, my Mac is running slow. Ah, Do you know yes. that in 15 minutes, I, I sorted out all the problems I had, yes. you know, by, by, <laughs> by, by just learning. <laughs> and I'm, I've saved a thousand bucks. Mm. And I, now people are calling me as a Mac expert. I'm like, no, go to Google. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just saying, guys, just op open your mind for bigger things. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It, you. That really means a lot to us. We really appreciate that. Cool. This is the conversation with Daniel Kam when you're out, hey, Tara. Sure. <laughs>